Now, what can you get from the supermarket for four pounds these days? Uh, something to eat, pizza, sometimes a jar of coffee. Mm. Well, in fact, Aldi has announced it's selling a four pound school uniform. That is the whole thing. The shirt, the jumper, skirt, everything, couple of shirts, in fact. It says it's the cheapest on the market and it's all before schools in many areas have even broken up for the summer. Here's Michelle Morrison. It's a fierce battle none of them want to lose. No, I don't mean between these two. They're the best of friends. I'm talking about supermarket school uniform wars. And it's this one that's upping the stakes at £4. Broken down, it means the sweater is £1.25, two polos are £1.25, and trousers or a skirt are £1.50. So, deal or no deal for these picky mums? Uh, initially, I'd be quite suspicious, cos I'm used to getting a sort of more expensive brand that I can rely on. Um, so, you know, would it wash well? I mean, I'm a mother of twins, so I have to buy double of everything all the time. So, two, fours or eight, I mean, ideal, whole uniform for eight quid. But when it comes to uniforms, generally, what are the issues concerning parents? My main issue with my son is that he loses it. He'll go in with a brand new jumper and within a week it's gone and he'll be coming home with someone else's jumper that's got holes in it. The biggest issue for me is just that you can't get them clean. I mean, they get paint on and it's supposed to be washout paint. It's not. The summer dresses, they are just a nightmare. They roll about, they do cartwheels and they come home and they're split and there's big holes in them and you put them in the washing machine and they're just, they're not clean. And now they've got holes in. <laughs> That's a lot of tension put on those uniforms. Now, joined by consumer expert and mum, Kate Hardcastle. So, yeah, you know both sides of it, don't you? Absolutely. One You've thing. Got, got to get the money's worth out of the You uniform. have. So, look, we've got Lily here, who's wearing the Aldi uniform, the £4 Aldi uniform, mm. aren't you? This is a great uniform, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's actually £4. It's come up really well in a lot of the tests we've done this morning. Yes, because we have been doing some tests, haven't we, Susanna? What's the difference in quality between the uniforms? A lot of the materials are the same. Mm -hmm. A lot of the features are the same, adjustable waist, etc., etc. So I'm having a look at how they've fared through the test. Mm -hmm. In fairness, some of the higher quality have done a little bit better, so the wearability would be better. But the Aldi one has, has done very well. So first test was the washing test. Uh, the sweater from Aldi here versus the M&S one that Sophia is wearing. Both of them washed three times. How did they get on? I think M&S has come up trumps here because I think this has held its own. The colours have held their own as well. The Aldi one started to fade slightly and puck around the neckline, which right. you've noticed. Yeah. But, you know, M&S is nearly double the price. Yeah. So that's, that needs bearing in mind. Yeah, OK, very interesting. So what was the next test we did? We then did the orange cordial test. So mm, right, so getting shirts, that annoying stain on a new uniform. Full of stains. And, you know, white is a really hard colour to mm. keep up to anyway. Mm. Again, I think it's pretty equal measures. I can very faintly see stainage that has stayed in the Aldi top. But, um, you know, Tesco's is, is not too much more expensive and it's, it's fed a bit better in that one. OK, OK. And finally, did the pleat test. So how did the pleats get on on the cheaper version? Well, I think this is where Aldi have come up trumps. Uh, we've got the skirt here being modelled, looking great. And these uniforms go up to 11, age 11, mm. all the same price. And I think this pleat has retained really, really well so through the So that's test. literally, put it in the washing machine, Take it out, yeah. no ironing required. No ironing at all. It's really and that Sainsbury's that you've got in your hand as well. Yeah. So that's not as good in your view. Not in my view. I mean, the supermarkets are up to about 25, 30% more, but uniforms are just a lot cheaper these days than we're yeah. used to paying. And people have been asking, of course, how they managed to do it so cheaply. And, and you know, do we have concerns about that and the, the sort of workforce that is, is used for that? Um, people are right to point it out. Aldi have made a statement saying that everything matches and meets their ethical standards and legally they're very happy. But M&S, for instance, would have a, a more far-reaching ethical policy to reassure. Aldi, though, have reassured customers. It's, it's absolutely, you know, they're working with factories to get the best ethical practices. And what do you think, guys? Do you like the feel of them? Are they itchy or annoying in any way? No. No. What about you boys? Are you comfortable with yours? Yeah, and a little one on the end? Thumbs up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. Oh, thanks so I much. I just want to get all in. uniforms off, don't you, and go on summer holidays. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Thanks ever so much to all of you.